Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the HTC Droid Eris. Uh, if you're not already there, head over to our site, TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our how to root the HTC Droid Eris. Okay, the first thing you need to do is download the rooted image. You can use either of these two download links. Um, they're exactly the same file, one is just an alternate download source. So we're going to click the first one. And then we're going to download that. Okay, next we're going to plug in our Droid Aris uh, into our computer via USB. And we're going to mount the SD card. This way we can transfer stuff to the SD card. Um, and then we're going to find the file we just downloaded, the IMG. You're going to leave it as a .zip file, do not extract it and drag it over to your SD card of your phone. Do not put it inside any folders, just on the SD card itself. So that the, it's just the SD card and that's it. Okay, and let that transfer. Okay, once you've got the file on the SD card, we turn off the Droid Aris and unplug it. Then we're going to turn it on by holding down the volume down and the power button at the same time. And just keep holding it. So we get this screen. You can say it's checking for the file that we just put on there. If you notice once it finds it, this blue bar will start to move. You can just set the phone down and let it continue. Okay, once it's done checking for it, it's going to say push volume up to begin or volume down to not do it. We're going to push volume up, it'll reset itself, check the update again, and then begin this process. So do not disturb it while it's doing this and let it finish. Okay, once it's done, it's going to say update complete, do you want to reboot the device? Action means pushing the trackball. So we're going to push the trackball and let it reboot. Okay, after a long while for the phone booting up for the very first time, you'll end up here at the setup screen. Uh, you can just go through the setup processes normally and when you're done, you'll be on any Android 2.1 based HTC Sense ROM. You'll also have full root access, so you can do things like add Wi-Fi tether, um, overclock it, add more RAM through swap, etc. So enjoy.